well, well. Welcome to Come to Your Senses with Carlos Jaime. Thank you. Hey, Mike. How's it going, Carlos? Good. Looking good. good. I got my little sidekick. I'm going to call you a sidekick for now. That's fine. I like being your sidekick. <laughs> you're my tonto. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say you're my tonto. You're my Tonto's native. a little much, don't you think? I mean, no, I don't think so. You're kind of yeah. tall. You look like him, you know. Tonto's tall. I thought he's short. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen him. I haven't seen the show for a while. Yeah, he's a short guy, and he always—he's the first guy to die in like expeditions. Ta- do you know the Tonto's from? Right? Yeah, he's from that movie. Uh, <laughs> what movie? I don't know. I forgot the name of it, but it's like <laughs> okay. That, uh, yeah, all right, right, we're after a bad start, but right. it's fine. The Lone Ranger. We're in the Lone Ranger at a. Oh, you're talking about that guy. Yeah. The, right. the, the, well, the okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. He's not very alone. I'll tell you that much. I don't know what's going on. Well, guys, welcome to episode five. Um, I, I want to welcome, you know, two very special guests in, in, uh, right now. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce um, right here a guy that I've, been, I've had a relationship, a working relationship, podcast uh, history with for a long time, the legend himself. Joe Donatelli. Oh, hello, Carlos. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, Tonto, Andrew. good to see you. It's over there, Tonto. Come on. Uh, uh, oh, all right. Now, no, we had we had a show. We did a show called The Second Column. Mm-hmm. We did it for four uh, four year or two hundred episodes, I mm-hmm. think. Right. Yep. Yeah, and, 200. Uh, yeah. Then uh, please uh, let's not. I don't want to make it seem that we want to pick on Mike. No, uh, we'll not revisit the errors of the past. Yes, but unless Mike says something that's a little then bit we will revisit then them. We figure <laughs> we will often and hard. Well, exactly. It wasn't really an error. I mean, it's just it was the way the show was. All right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Don't worry about it, Mike. Don't you know? Just relax. You know. Don't you know? Joe not be on the best behavior. Yeah, just keep checking I'm your phone. I'm fine. He's been on my, the fort. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yes. right. He tried to hijack the show, but Ed kind of. Stop you too. Oh, I did. I started interviewing the guys in the middle of the show. I hosted 200 podcasts, so I was like, in, "It's in his blood." Man. I just started. Ho- I started asking people questions, and Ed had to wrestle the show. Back. It's a very good episode, though. Right. It's episode I, I, I it. my, my goal tonight is to let yeah. you host the show. I'm going to try not to interrupt oh, and, and All right. just take control of everything. No, I right. want to introduce our guest, oh. our other guest here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it? Oh, you want to do it? I, I'll, All right. I'll, I'll do it. Since you I know her, since you know her, and I, don't, I know her. I was just going to make stuff. Come up. on, guys, stop fighting over me. I was going to just make a make something. Go ahead. A girl, uh, this uh, okay. Well, I'm you say be- one thing about her, then I'll say one thing. <laughs> okay, about her. she's she's a very lovely. Oh, mm-hmm. that's true. Uh, and she uh, is a it, uh, has um, a cooking recipe she's going to share later in the show. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's I'd love very to. Excited mm-hmm. about. <laughs> I will think of one now. She's, she's she very excited yeah, about. She's very ready. Yeah, Go ahead. Very, and, and, uh, she's very talented. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. rode here on a unicycle. Uh-huh. Yep, okay. that's that's true. Truth. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, true. Parked outside. It's true. And very versatile. <laughs> You're just saying vague things, <laughs> and I'm saying specific I, things. I have a thesaurus. Thing <laughs> I feel like you don't even know her. I do know okay, her. Okay, tell I, us about. It. I want all know right. Her. Well, here we go. This uh, this girl I met actually in an improv class, and she's a very funny girl, very talented, very versatile. Cool. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, the very lovely Lauren Valentine. Ooh. Yeah. Hello. 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 Right. Thank you. Thank a, you. That's a real last name, right? It here. is. Um. I was, uh, my family's last name is Valentine. Mm-hmm. Uh, sidebar note that I have to share with everyone. I was born on Valentine's Day. That's I read kidding. that about you, yes. Oh my goodness. That, what is, what happened there? Wow. Well, what happened there? I don't know. Her parents are the best planners <laughs> ever. They no, 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 actually. No. Um, uh, it was meant to be. I was late. And really? so the doctor was like, the doctor was the planner. He was like, yo. Tuesday's Valentine's Day. I'm free. You want to <laughs> I have a induce? golf game, but I'm free. But yeah, I'm like, free I can fit day. you in yeah. if you want to make a Valentine baby. Wow. So, and your mom was like, I'll, I can wait. I yeah, can wait. yeah, sure. I'll hold I'll the bun. Yeah, I'll hold it. It's I'll great. go through this. It still, this still hurts, but yeah. don't worry about it. I yeah. got no, it. No worries. Wow. Yeah. So she waited three weeks. Three weeks. No, it was like, what was it, a couple days that she had to wait? A couple. Oh my gosh. I've never asked her that. Yeah. I think she was like, like I'm the youngest of four. So okay. everyone just was like late. And when your mom's on the fourth one, by then she's like a pro. She's like, I can she's hold it. Like, yeah, yeah. Popping, it's like, what abs? Popping it out. I got it. Popping it out. That's I got what this one. Yeah. Wow. So Lauren Valentine, born on Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. You must mm. get that. So Valentine's Day is like a huge day. Is, What's it like a ter- some- is it a terrible day for you or a great day? Yeah. It has changed throughout okay. the years. Uh-huh. Sure. Um, for the most part, it's pretty rad okay. because everyone remembers it. Yeah. So I get a lot of love, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm usually single, which is great. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you have to have that mentality, yeah. Because uh, I've had like you gotta have that. I have it's, to have it surrounded with me because like right. I'll, I'll have like 
girlfriends that are like, yeah, let's celebrate your birthday. Mm -hmm. And then they get fucking depressed on my birthday. Oh, boy. And I'm surrounded by... Women, you gotta hang out with guys. Yeah, guys are bad, too. Happy birthday, Lauren. Yes. Okay, go to any bar where they have, like, stupid Valentine's Day thing. It's the dude's idea that's at the bar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I hate Valentine's Day because it's like overpriced menus and there's a lot of people and I'm like, you're single, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, if you that's were why with you somebody you yeah. love it. Wait, hold on. I-, I love the idea though of her her girlfriend's like, "Happy birthday, yeah, we're the men." Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> totally, why don't totally, we have totally. guys? Oh, Ooh. I'm so unhappy. That's why they start doing shots, not right. to celebrate. Nah, nah, nah. And, not even, and not even a good idea at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, it's like a terrible worst idea. Oh, You're just boy. gonna attract the worst kind of guys at that yeah. point. Yeah, I mean that's just people prowling looking for yeah. like weak catch. Well, there's the whole uh, weak catch. You know what? That's a good. That's gonna be in a new show. Uh, <laughs> The weakest gonna, catch. Yeah, because we're doing a TV the show, catch, yeah. and the weakest catch is going to be coming up. I cannot wait. There is this much. like rumor amongst guys or whatever, like legend that like Valentine's Day is the night to go out and pick up lonely chicks because they're all lonely and horny, and you just you have to go to the oh, bar. Right. I'm going to write this down. I never did that. Of, like if you I read like. Had. And I'm, I read everything. If you read like Maxim or whatever, like they're always like <laughs> Valentine's Day, underrated day to score with the ladies. Really? Go to the bars. So do you ever get, wow. is that, do you get hit on on Valentine's Day at the bars? Does that ever happen? Uh, no. No? Really? I mean, I don't know. I'm. I would know. I, I, mean, <laughs> I know. I would know too. I would know if somebody hit on me. Do you hang out at Swilly Bars on Valentine's Day? Maybe that's yeah, Swilly, Swilly, that's, Swilly Bars. Yeah. Swilly Bars <laughs> are Swilly my bars. forte. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. No, I mean, I think a lot of people are really depressed on Valentine's yeah. Day too. Right. So I try to avoid those people. Mm-hmm. So that's maybe... Well, I guess we're not hanging out because I'm, I'm the worst. You've got a smile just right now saying you're the worst. Like I'm I can't worst. see you being depressed. Oh, really? He hates me. Oh, <laughs> no, I mean, no. I kind of would like to see it just because I'd be curious. But like, no offense. I don't, I don't know. Be- no, no. It's, just, it's, not, it's not like a day, but it's one of those days where I think it's when somebody, even as a kid, when somebody would give me a Valentine's Day and I'm like, I don't, like you're a girl, like I don't know who you are or something, but it's like one of those things. But even people today is like Happy Valentine's Day or my family. I get kind of ticked off or something. And I go like that's something for a girlfriend or a wife to say to me. See what's going on there. So if a nice girl coworker says it to you, you get well it. now. Now see when I was you know oh, younger, so now you're better. Yeah, it. now okay. I'm like it's. So when you were eleven, you were like, no, that's for my wife. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> you're serious. You're I'm serious. serious. I came to love <laughs> hardcore. Okay, hardcore love. Big time relationship, yeah. and then, now no longer those dreams have been dashed. Yeah, I think after a while, especially in LA, as you get into one of those Swilly bars, forget. Yeah, it. Yeah, well, you know. Mike found a girl, and he didn't have to go to Swilly bars. I, I found a girl, I didn't have to go to Swilly bars. You, it's possible, is all I'm saying. I don't know what you. I you have know. to be open to you know the idea of Valentine's Day miracle. <laughs> it's a massacre, but a miracle. Exactly. Is that the new thing? Yeah, okay. the Valentine's right. Day miracle. Valentine's Day miracle. It will happen for you. Okay, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Hopefully look at just... Cupid here. I love yeah, this. No. See, oh. I'm an optimist. All right. And Wait. also, as a, as a married guy, you always want everybody in, to be in a relationship all the time. Yeah. So constantly, like, just trying to fix You know, for the fact that up. you guys are, I mean, you're married, Joe, and yeah. Mike is... Um, Pretty much engaged. Uh, he is engaged. Or, yeah, right now. <laughs> uh, right yeah, now. I don't know. There's not pretty much. There for, just is. For the moment. Right. For the right. moment. We'll right. see. We'll, we'll see. see. Uh, right. But uh, but yeah, it is kind of one of those things where I do, put, I am proud of the fact that I am one of the few single people you guys kind of know mm-hmm. that it's like, so when something happens, I'm like, hey, I don't have that problem. <laughs> I'm looking. At, I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't. I don't understand that logic. Like, what? Right. What world are you living in? Because right, right, the world right. I'm living in is Fun Town, <laughs> and you guys are Couch City. Let's take a Count, look. Let's take a look. Valentine's Day. Yeah, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Carlos sitting at this kitchen table with a bottle of Jack Daniels. Yeah. And I still listen, have listen to my bloody Valentine over and yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I got Netflix. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. You know, I realize you guys, uh, you guys have a kind of a connection. I think we were talking about that before, and it's the state of Ohio. Yeah. Or, or, or this, or at least you know, some. Yeah, I'd say the state of Ohio, right? Yeah, it's the state of Ohio. <laughs> right. Still a state. Still a state. Yeah. It's still sure? a state. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, I mean, Joe, you went to Ohio University. I did. Yeah, and. Uh, Lauren went to a real college. I guess. Uh, uh, college. Ohio, Ohio she had a real State. football team. Yeah, went a football team, <laughs> right? Ohio sure. State. Ohio State. You guys, you know, Mike was telling me this before the show that you guys are rivals, and I don't know if you guys are uh, uh, party yeah. scene rivals. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that's the that's yeah. the that's, only that's, rival that counts. You always tell me you guys are big sports rivals. No, I mean, there's no team in Ohio that doesn't 
like they all want to beat Ohio State. Everyone does because it's the biggest college. It's like everybody wants to beat USC in California. So there's a rivalry, but it's not like you know our, even feasible. Yeah, it's it's you know we, we no no it's true. <laughs> we were tied. We were tied it's with you at halftime two years ago, and it was like we're tied with Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think we recruited off that for five years. Wow. So you it's know, not it's not like a thing that is. Uh, it's not a bloodlust or anything. You, you know, it's kind of weird too because. I mean, growing up, like, I mean, I would watch college football and Ohio State would always be there, but I did not know that Ohio University existed. I met you, Jeff. <laughs> I, I would honestly not even know Joe. There's no reason you would. If you grew up a kid, I, if you're a kid in California, there's no reason you I should. I was know. like, when you told me you went to Ohio or university, I'm like, oh, you went to Ohio State. Let me bounce some names off you, Carlos. You ever heard of a guy named Mike Schmidt? Yeah, the Ohio you University. Them? That's right. See, but he, I Arsenio know- Hall? <laughs> Really? Ohio University. Oh, no. Can I get right. a woo-woo? <laughs> we get a woo-woo, that's right. <laughs> For that guy? That's Are you right. proud of him? Are awesome. you sure you want to put that's him on that right. level? Yeah. And after that, Piper Parabu. Oh. <laughs> She's Ohio University. I remember, yeah, I saw a movie. Uh, where... Who else? Do we... we have Richard Dean Anderson. He's Ohio. MacGyver? MacGyver. We have MacGyver. Wow. Wow. Fuck. Paul Newman, Ohio University. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a big yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that is a big one. That, yeah. Why didn't you lead with that I one? I probably should have led with yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> some of the, some of the, base, some of the baseball oh, player that two people at the table never if, heard of. If it was 1992 yeah. and we had equipment like this, did you want any radio yeah. show yeah. or something? Yeah. The fourth Wayans brother, uh, he went there. Man, you were right. getting good. You know, wow. there's one thing that I read, though, Joe. Uh, Ohio U. Yeah. They lost their reign as party school. We're number three now. Yeah. got knocked from the... One who's Ohio State? It's West no. Virginia. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was like inside the state because, uh, yeah, no, I was thinking Arizona. Wouldn't they be like? They you you get- would think Arizona, Miami, Florida State, like those are. The I remember Santa Barbara was like yeah. a major yeah. one. Santa Barbara's was, a big yeah, one. We had a couple of friends that were from Santa Barbara, yeah. and it was like always a couch on fire. It's a constant like source of irritation at my college. Like the, the students love it. Like yeah, we're the number one party school, and like every year they trot out some administrator to go. It's not a reflection upon the school. It's still you know like it's, <laughs> well, this guy just gives the yeah. same speech every year, and it's like just record the speech and put it on YouTube. Yeah, I know. And save that guy the trouble of going in front of the cameras and doing but, that shit every year. But, my, but Joe, you. You never, you never really experienced that party scene, really. I don't see you as experiencing. Oh that. yeah, I, I think I did. Really? Well, I mean, well, there's the thing. Like, okay, you met your wife in yeah college, right? Right, but there was a lot of partying. There's 22 bars in a four block area, oh and the God. entire campus is within walking distance. Of- so nobody drives, and everybody walks to the bars every night. And there's also a ton of off campus housing, and there's also. Thirty some uh, fraternities and sororities. Oh so my gosh. it never. So when ends. are you moving back? Yeah, it sounds like you're pretty Tuesday. Juiced. Actually, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> okay. moving back. Yeah, on he Tuesday. is moving back. Yeah, yeah I'm actually going back, back on Tuesday. But now the difference between Ohio University partying and Ohio State partying is like Ohio State will set small sections of Columbus on fire after a big yeah. football win. I was there. Yeah, I, yeah. I was. <laughs> were you doing that? Were you putting things on fire? <laughs> no. Okay. No, <laughs> I was just uh, experiencing the tear gas uh, that ensued. The yeah. spectator. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, uh, I'm just gonna mind my business, get a little drink. Get on, cool. Yeah. Walking down the street, what the fuck? I'm crying. Wow. And then there were choppers. Yeah, it was really? like, yeah. So it's I like a regular LA kind of day. Yeah, it yeah. made me feel really comfortable here once I'm in It's like yeah, LA yeah. in 1992. Oh, yeah, yeah that was like, good times. Man. Yeah, I've seen your hall like, was king, man. Yeah. It's, like you. In L- it's like LA, you, uh, you know, you, 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 the police beat a guy and then everybody riots. Like, right. it, it's like Ohio State, like you beat Michigan State and everybody riots. <laughs> yeah. it's like, well, that's a good reason. Yeah, that's a great right. reason. That's a better reason than, <laughs> it's a great you know, reason. people just getting angry and just treating each other like just like it's so funny like the symbol of winning a championship in the Big Ten is a flaming couch basically like you will always see like at Michigan or Michigan State or Ohio State or Wisconsin like whenever a school wins a championship like there's 10 students around a couch on fire in the middle of the street and that's like that is you know I'm gonna say this that's the symbol for college life is a burning (laughs) couch is a burning couch (laughs) I I saw that in uh, I think in Santa Barbara same sure, thing. So yeah. uh, that is, uh, I think, uh, yeah, that should be the new university. <laughs> the Santa Barbara burning couches. <laughs> that should be the symbol mm. of the school. Ooh, right they there. have a good basketball team. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Gauchos. The Gauchos. Um, we, so you weren't really a party person yourself. Like. I was a I was a dancer. So is I that, did, is I that a dancer for whom? Uh, I knew that was coming. No, I was no. in the modern <laughs> dance. <laughs> no, I wasn't even going there. I, uh, I, I was thinking like maybe on the basketball. You know, no, like, no. Like, okay. like I was a dance department. Like I, oh, I majored okay. in dance. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you can do that. Wow, it's yeah. really helpful in life. It gets you really far. Really? really? <laughs> do you, do you, have you tried out for who? I, I so you think, think you can dance? So you think I, I didn't even know no. the name of the show? But. No, it, what are we going to call I, it? Who are you? Know. Can you dance? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Who, what's can, your name? Can you can dance? You can you fucking 
dance. dance. Yeah, can you fucking dance? You might as well just do that. God. No, I didn't. I didn't audition for that. I used to live in New York and it did that circuit of uh, modern uh, dance, like oh. like concert dance, where uh-huh. people leave going, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah, what is modern dance compared to the different kind of dancing? How would you just? How yeah. would, what is, I, it's I, it's I really hard to it describe. Yeah. Um, it, it's basically um, in like a concert level. It's like so ballet. We all know ballet, right? right. Very kind of strict and and uh, upright, linear, whatever. Modern dance is kind of the next step away from um, ballet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kind of like Catholicism <laughs> is ballet, and like Lutheranism is modern dance. Mm. Okay. Yeah, That's the good first one to like break away, let's yeah. say, and then we've gotten like further and further away from that sort of like assembled right. collection of movement. Huh. Uh, but modern dance is also a very broad term. Okay. So that's why, like, somebody's one person's modern dance could be like rolling on the ground. Another person's could be like kick ass, uh, like crazy, extreme, strip. insane movement. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Or, so, what's were the... you going to say strip? No, no I, just, <laughs> I was just like, I keep thinking right. we're going to say strip. Yeah. I was like, Sorry. no, I was Sorry. just like, I was like street dance or something. Street dance. Like, yeah. So, like, that, but like, that would be like, like, hip hop has its own, right. uh, ritual of like battling and like mm-hmm. different stuff right. that like goes with hip hop. It's not modern dance. Okay. Like it is modern in the way of describing that, like it's more current maybe, mm-hmm. but, um, it's just, it's hard to summarize. Mm. It's not, modern dance just sounds like somebody's like, I'm just going to make up some movements and we're all going to just kind of do them. Yeah. I'm probably doing a big disservice okay. to every <laughs> modern dancer I, out yeah. there right they're, now. I can imagine they're like, f- they're, burning, dance? they're burning a couch as yeah. they speak. There's, there's they're, like, yeah. They're yeah. acting like a burning couch. They're acting, and that's, yeah. They're interpreting a burning couch. Exactly. Yeah. That's how Wouldn't you say like maybe interpretive dance? You know, no, like I was actually like, just going to say that does uh, not, uh, that's not, that is interpretive dance. dance. Okay. Yes. Right. Like where a guy wants to be a tree or whatever. Yeah, and, you know, that's, 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 a, that's, a good, that's, that's a good what dance. Mike likes. Yeah, I like. No, we don't interpret shit. Okay, no, All right. you just dance. So we modern just dance. dance. Do you dance, dance? For- we dance to dance for dancing sake. <laughs> oh my gosh! We wow. move to move. We feel the wind in our hair. <laughs> Do you go that? Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. I I agree. I I I'm for dance. Is there a big? Modern dance off, like yeah, or a dance like recital. Like, what was was there a thing you did every year? Was so like, you think you could dance? It well, not seeing you did, right. but like, is there like a thing that you built towards when you were at Ohio State? To like... uh, uh, no, I mean okay. that was just uh, yeah. I mean there'd be a big concert. There are no okay. recitals once you're like out of high school. Let's ah, just put that out okay. there. Uh, so there'd be a concert. Yeah, there'd be and a then concert. Would, okay. It's classy, like right, right. And then so there's a culmination of work right. that uh, that uh, is collected. And, uh, you know, you audition and you, you are at Ohio State. There were graduates uh, mm-hmm. that were mm-hmm. dance, d- dance professionals. Uh-huh. Uh, and so you would kind of just collect all this work and, and uh, you get graded in your, your classes, which was crazy. Like wow. ballet technique. Mm. A, B, C. How like, do you even grade that? That's wow. like crazy. I, that's exactly the question. Like, Ugh. is it because like Jeez. you're physically able to do it, or mm-hmm. like you applied yourself? Right. And like different teachers would go, you know. I don't feel like she felt the wind. I thought yeah, no uh, wind on that B one. B minus because I thought ballet was like you just study that. You know, like for a lot of the people that are in these ballets. Yeah, no, so that's ba- the only thing that you study. You know, it's like no other dance, just ballet. Mm. Correct. Yeah. With modern dance, though, it's a good base to have ballet as well. So we would have that. I use that as an example, but like we mostly do modern dance as the technique that we would study, mm-hmm. or jazz, or mm-hmm. uh, have, you know, choreography, etc. Have you done jazz hands? Jazz hands. I do them every night while I'm sleeping. No, uh, while you're sleeping, yeah, <laughs> nice. I That's like to bad. ward off bad dreams okay. this way. It's a good way. It's like a dream catcher, kind of like yeah. Native, Native Americans made. Let me know. ask the question Carlos is thinking: Were any of the modern dancers also strippers? <laughs> no, I was. That's not. what you were. It's no, where the, this conversation was. Going. No, no, no. I, I don't know. I'm um, not going to ask that question. Word on the street. Huh? Is it there was a particular gentleman? Oh. Oh, like Chippendales. Like a, yeah. like a Magic Mike type but, of situation. Yeah, yeah. Magic, yeah. Magic yeah. Mike. Yeah, you like how I spun that All one right. on you? Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Carlos, you misogynist jerk. I I I still respect him. <laughs> so he so. works hard for the money. He does. You know what? You got to respect a guy yeah, like that. He's you know? out there. He's doing his thing. I mean, Good I mean, him. the guy's got middle aged women. Hey, you know, Holly. Dude, us. it's rough. So now, when you take the your dance degree into job interviews, how does that go? It's got to be hard for you, right? I like how Joe's like really uh, taking the ownership. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I've never met yeah, somebody no, no, studying dancing fine, for it. Well, uh, you know, 
job interviews for what? I don't know. Like so, that would so, you, be, so like mean, you graduate from so you graduate from uh, from school and then you do the New York circuit. Yeah, so I, I, I dance still, there, and that's just like so you can dance. Great. Yeah, yeah. Almost, you thought I was going to put think in there. So no, think no, no, no. Put dance. think in there. But no. so, so now, now it's kind of like you have to start all over, sort of, right? If you're not looking for dance work, mm-hmm. yeah, right. completely, yeah. Uh, because like, how does uh, dance relate to computer skills? Mm. Uh, doesn't really. <laughs> I, you know, you never know. Uh, there was, I will, I will say, mm-hmm. we did computer classes. Like we were well-rounded students, right. you know. Right. Um, and I also got a minor in, in business, so that was really useful. You got it. That's that's yeah. hardcore. Yeah, obviously. yeah. Go. Really showing you a lot about my. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, right, now uh, we uh, different. Thanks so a lot, Joe. In the intro, in the, you're in the, the intro, you're when the you host. said I was talented, no, that was a is. really big uh, like no, pat on the back to me. Thanks. No, you no, you're still talented. I think if but you do find computer a, dance, find a way to improv. Yeah, exactly. Which is actually and takes that, a lot and, of de- mental dexterity and. Like you have to be able to, you know, think on your feet. And let move me and- let me ask you guys something. Are you are you? I mean, you you went to different colleges. I mean, in Ohio, but are you you're and you are you proud of where that college? I mean, you you still root for the Buckeyes. You still root for the Bobcats. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to get more into it now. I was I got away from it for a long time. Really? Yeah. Discouraged. I think after you get out of school, you're just kind of like, uh. And then yeah. when you get old, you get more nostalgic for it. So see, right. I was I when I got out, I was like, sweet Ohio State, great, go yeah. Bucks. Then I just ran out of time on the weekends, and yeah. it was like, "What's going to stay, the NFL or college football?" Mm-hmm. You chose the NFL. I went Steelers all the way. Wow! Born and raised. Wow! Mm. How are you not married right now? Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. It's like uh, I mean, she's in dance. I, she's a Steelers I, fan. You should. I mean, these they're are the top of the world. Of, these are the kind of decisions you hope a woman makes. If you, you know? go to like, Pittsburgh, uh, you will trust me. You will not be single. I'm pretty sure. First are, of all, or, or, I mean, or you anything. Would be, you would be Miss uh, Pittsburgh. They'd give you yeah. a sash the minute oh, you got course. there. You have all your teeth. Here's the you have thing. Brain in your head. Oh. Oh. There's all sorts of women like me there. there. He's right. And they He's actually right. know more about the game than I do. I just, no, you know, not, I enjoy not. it from time to time. I just like that you made that choice, and that's yeah. it's okay. like that you I'll thought take about that. it. Yeah, I'll take I like that. that you thought about well, it. Well, the reason why I was bringing it up because uh, I, I have a little uh, segment called News of the World. News of the World. Uh, I'm going I'm to play this thing. It's a, uh, something I found on CNN, mm-hmm. and um, let me see what you guys think right here. About a 1,000 miles from Oklahoma is Ann Arbor, Michigan, home to the University of Michigan Wolverines. Big Blue. It's a religious experience when you walk in. (laughs) Wait, relax. Calm down. (laughs) Sorry, you've been a very sore spot. Oh, my God. I'm just reading (laughs) T-shirt slogans. The Big House. It's amazing. The Big House is the name for the stadium that Shannon Barton loves to talk about. She bleeds maize and blue, and so do her kids. They love it. They're proud. But when five-year-old Cooper wore his Big House t-shirt to Uh kindergarten class at Wilson Elementary last week, he got the Heisman. He told me that they had made him turn it inside out because it said Michigan. He was a little embarrassed. No, the principal at Wilson did not go to Ohio State. Instead, it's Oklahoma City public school policy that students can't wear clothing displaying any school unless it's OU, OSU, or another school in the state. It wasn't offensive. It, you know, he's five. But no matter the age, the dress code, which was last developed in 2005 and is posted in the lobby of the school it's administration so offices <laughs> yeah. says no to pro gear as well thunder up forget about it when i talked to the superintendent about it today he had some absolute concern That's about it and thinks that it may be a little outdated until there is a change this Seven five-year-old will wait for a new shipment of wolverine pens and paper to bring to class <laughs> but the clothes much to the disappointment of mom stay at home they should really worry about the academics part you think <laughs> oh, that no. makes me actually want to buy a Michigan shirt for the little guy right. and have him wear it? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's you know what's That's outdated. Stupid. Superintendent, spokes lady, the First Amendment. <laughs> a little thing <laughs> called the First Amendment. You can't yeah. wear a shirt with a school with the name of a state on it. But the five, he probably can't even read the shirt. He's no. five. He's five years old. His mom, a dress, yeah, you ever yeah. met the parent of a uh, five year old? They're this close to killing themselves. Uh, like they're just looking at the kids alive, really? and they're getting them out of the house, and there's food in them somewhere. Like. It's not fair. That's I know. I saw that, and I figured, you know, you guys. I mean, yeah, I don't know about first part, but like any team, growing, like the, the one thing when I was growing up here, um, I couldn't wear or, or like if you went to like like uh, like 
some places where like an arcade or whatever, like the mini golf, they wouldn't allow you to wear any like jackets, like black jackets. So you couldn't wear like the Raiders or you couldn't wear the Kings right? because they were basically affiliated to like the gangs basically. Mm. Yeah. Um, so it was really weird. And I go, so how, what the fuck does that mean? Like I can't wear a Kings jersey or can't, and I'm like, I have glasses. I don't look like a- <laughs> <laughs> I have glasses. <laughs> that's a one. That's a, that was the one thing yeah. where I'm like, I never saw a gangster guy with glasses. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if they're perfect eyesight. I just don't care. But um, I always felt like that was really fucked up because I had a Kings, um, uh, you know, starter jacket, you know, mm-hmm. back in the '90s and everything, which was like the big rave. And yeah, it sucked. Like I couldn't get in there and everything. And it wasn't like that, but it was just I felt alien. That was like the first kind of thing where I was just like, really? Yeah. Fuck the. Fuck the man. The early nineties. Let's say it. The early nineties is a really unfortunate time for fashion. Oh my god. Do you you even no? Okay. Pleather. Oh. Electric blue pleather. (laughs) Uh huh. Did you mini skirt? Are we talking prom? Oh, oh no! Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> oh you no, said mini skirt. You said mini skirt. Okay, mini skirt. That's cash. <laughs> nah, she's not. We get it. We, she's not a stripper girl. Okay, I didn't I get, say. I, I'm just asking. Uh, no, I, I was going with pleather. Okay, so pleather with a matching blue velour top. Nice. That's a good look. A matching pleather jacket. Wow. You should have. You should have worn it inside out. Oh, which, my- which part of Ohio did you grow up in? I actually didn't. I grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, but that's close enough. It's, it's, it's right like, across the border. Yeah, it's like a couple it's miles. Right Where are you from? Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland. Oh, okay, so. Cleveland rocks. Yeah, it's the it's the. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, well, we'll see. I don't know. You were there. You like <laughs> so? No, 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 no. But my point was when when, when in the early nineties, like all the kids who were like badasses, like all in Cleveland, got oh. L.A. Kings and Oakland Raiders or really? L.A. Raiders. That's jackets. crazy. Like, they all did just because they were black and silver. Wow. Like so, like dudes who didn't watch hockey, dudes who didn't even know who well, that was, was on the L.A. Here. Kings. Like they all like, got the same jacket. So you had like an army in my high school of like Browns. short. Italian dudes like walking around and like yeah, yeah wow. like L.A. Kings jackets. Well, here I mean, growing up, I mean, I don't know how intense, but in certain parts of the area where you, you you had to pick either black and silver or whatever because you couldn't wear blue and red. Like that was one thing I remember. Like growing up, what was up. wrong with blue and red? Well, well it's because there were oh, uh, gangs and the, gangs. The, that was like the main cranks. thing when you get to the point where somebody was shot just for wearing or something. You get to the point where it's like, let's wear something a little bit more neutral. <laughs> and, that's the, and, yeah. and I think it was one of those things where uh, it happened to be that the Raiders and the Kings were here. That's back when thing. all the kids were wearing taupe. Yeah. That was a problem. <laughs> that you had to wear it. For yeah. safety. Your safety. You For safety. It was a neutral thing. It was a neutral color. Yeah. It was one of those things. I don't know how intense it was, but I think hearing news stories about it kind of freaked you out, especially when totally I was a kid. That I would be out. like, no, yeah. Dude, well, it- like, you were amongst it. My my. Dad, we yeah. still make fun of because we weren't going to a Steelers game, and he like wouldn't let my brother wear an orange jacket. Uh, Who yeah. the fuck's gang is with orange? I don't know. Really? But he's like, you'll stand out. The Browns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe that's it. Browns. That yeah. totally would yeah. make sense. Totally but why well. we never tied that together yeah. till now? <laughs> the orange gang. It's, it's the, the it's the it's the, it's the pumpkin gang. The yeah. fact that it's brown and orange or something almost makes it seem that it's like <laughs> you deserve either to lose or what's going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> Like, <laughs> let's, I mean, the Kings, I mean, believe it or not, the Kings actually used to be purple and gold, oh. like the Lakers, when they first Well, purple came makes sense for Kings. Right. It's well, a royal yeah, color. It is. Right. It's and gold. Color. And Come gold. on now. A, That's those are synonymous. The perfect color. And yeah. it matched the Lakers. I mean, right. they were like a team. And I guess, I don't know who it was. I think, I forgot um, the owner or whoever, I think they just decided that they're going to pick, they're going to choose the Raiders, because I think it was a little bit more of like, an edge or something like that. So I think that's what I'm assuming it was. Right. But Time to get those young black kids to the <laughs> hockey arena. <laughs> get that And watching. the one thing we got to get is the great one. Let's get Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, I and, think. and it was Gretzky. like, okay, I think if we get Wayne Gretzky, we're going to have a lot of um, diversity in our crowd. Yeah. And uh, maybe it worked, maybe it did. I don't know. But it changed the thing. And they still, they, they now they, say they have actually like a purple and black uh, attire now, mm-hmm. which is, I guess, they decided to bring They're it going back. back yeah. It. Sure. That makes Cause, sense. Yeah. After a while, it's like, mm, you know, I think when people were getting arrested in news and they're wearing the, the, actual, oh, yeah, the actual thing, it's like, you might want to switch the colors. Every time thing. the news is on yeah. LA and a guy gets arrested, he's got an LA King. It's, yeah. on. And it's, I think we made a joke, Joe. And I, I think if anybody wears like a mesh shirt or something, mm-hmm. with, like, not even, it's like, not even like a jersey, but a jersey that's not to a football team that's like, no, just like a generic. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. Just a, just a generic jersey. football jersey with no like team oh, name on no, it. No, that person is probably going to get arrested. You should probably arrest them before <laughs> they do something. And right. Immediately. You should probably arrest that guy. Go. There's nothing good that will come from no, that. No, there's nothing. That If anybody wears any gear that has no affiliation to ties to a team... Nobody's ever said that man in a generic mesh football no. jersey saved my baby. No, that, that man that in a person. Gener- I married him after I met him in his generic mesh football yeah, jersey. That, it's like, you it's, guys are like fashion cops right now, just so you know. Really? <laughs> I, I, all right, I, I, I'm fine with that. Did I you mean, wear Ohio State colors on purpose just for Lauren? No, no. You're wearing I, the Buckeye colors. Oh, really? Is yeah. this what it is? Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Scarlet know. and gray. Oh boy! I That's, just fashion copped you, mofo. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! How do you feel? You just got arrested got for a, being in style. You next time. I'll get, I'll get you next time. I'll get out of this fucking. I'll get out of this jail. Whatever next time. I'm talking about You're that. in jail. Oh gosh. Well, guys. Uh, well, I'm gonna, well, I don't know about that story, but that I thought that was really f- fucked up. And poor kid didn't really. Yeah, have poor to go. kid. That seat doesn't know what he. And did. the fact that it's Oklahoma, it's like it's bizarre. Yeah. yeah. That's what even it's makes not even it worse. That's what makes it worse. It's, I think the bizarre. fact that it's like a sooner or some bullshit. I don't get that. Uh, this this story reminds me of another story. Was uh, and I think Lauren could appreciate this. I was, uh, there's a brown, I'm sorry, there's a Buckeyes bar in Santa Monica, and uh, there was the Buckeyes uh, uh, Wolverines game, it was Michigan, Ohio State, and everybody got together at like 7 in the morning, because the game starts at 9 a.m. out here, so people like start at 7 in the morning, now it's like 9, 9.30, the game has started, everyone's been drinking for like 2 or 3 hours, and uh, the place is full of just people in scarlet and gray, it's just all Ohio State fans, and one girl walks in with her boyfriend, and she's decked out in Michigan no, shirt. It only takes no. one. Michigan yeah. shirt, Michigan hat, Michigan like sweatpants, Zubaz yeah. pants, whatever. Like she's just Michiganed out, and just it's every Ohio drunken Ohio State fan oh, in LA no. is it just screamed at boo, <laughs> just yelling like people were like get get out, just like. Just she cascaded should, you know what, her. She just should ima- have turned her shirt into that. Well, just imagine, like just imagine, like walking into a room and having a hundred people scream at you. Like, what a psychological. Did what? she not expect it? Yeah, I think she. Yeah, I don't. I think. I'm she, sorry. Yeah, I, like, I agree. I agree. It's like it's like. I mean, she she might as well have been a bad guy wrestler in the eighties yeah, or something. Yeah, against, yeah. Play, <laughs> Gone against Hulk Hogan. Eddie she, Undertaker. Yeah, she, she literally she, blew she, the hell out of She stepped person. backwards into her boyfriend, grabbed his jacket, and wrapped it around. Oh. Her, oh, no. As if to like shield herself from everybody's taunts, yells, and boos, and then they turned around and left. Wow! Like, what, did, what there was one <laughs> as guy as they should as they should. Well, his boyfriend didn't think of this either. Or? Yeah, like I, nobody. Maybe they're just the most two clueless. Maybe they thought it would be cute. Did they think it was like just like oh, people are getting there to watch the game and didn't realize it was like Buckeye territory. It was totally may, maybe. I think this was around the same time they had those cute ESPN commercials where Ohio yeah. State fans were kissing Michigan fans, and right. there was a whole campaign. And maybe they just thought oh, everything's changed, but nothing had changed. No. No. Nothing had changed. Well, uh, all I know is that I'm proud to be. From California, L.A. <laughs> seriously, city. Yes, yes. No, I'm. I'm sorry. That wasn't no. question mark. That was like seriously. <laughs> no, I, even if it was, uh, I'm still. <laughs> but you know, uh, but a little uh, in my segment, what we call, and we call down the pike. Down the pike. 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 Uh, I decided not to do any um, any movies because you know what the the TV the new TV season is coming up. The guys. fall TV season. Fall TV season. Yep. Our favorite shows Get are ready. coming. Up. Right. And yep. there's always a lot of new shows, right? Yeah, there you are. feel that vibe. Yeah, it's I feel new show vibe. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. That's right. It's there's coming. a there's a wave coming, America. It's and a wave of new shows. There's oh. another reason to use your couch. No, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Especially for you guys, uh, you married guys. You know, you gotta be. You know, you don't want to <laughs> yeah, deal with the wife. Yeah, you know? because we the wife's watching the bachelor. Day. Wife's watching The Bachelor, uh-huh. and you, what are you going to be doing? Right, right. But there's a show, guys. I don't know. Um, it, it's called Made in Jersey. Okay? In Jersey. Oh, Jersey. Made in oh, Jersey. Oh God. Let me. You know what? Let me. Let me play this clip. Okay. And uh, this is like a. Is this the know, one with the behind the scenes stuff also? Or is no. this just a clip? <laughs> no, this is just a clip. I think I watched a, a really long you, behind wow, the scenes really got into footage it. today of this. Right, let me play YouTube. this. All right. Ridiculous. Oh, the music is already bumping. Oh, you okay? Hey, you nearly hit us. Open your eyes. Pull your head out of your ass. Hold this. Hey, apologize. I'm not apologizing to you. Not to me, to him. Sorry. Oh, you said 
that girl. This girl. She gets shit done. She makes justice happen. She's like all the girls from Jersey Shore. Can you come to the city and meet your mom? Please don't come in, Mom. That is not why I'm calling. What's the matter? I think I messed up at work today. This isn't my first murder case. I did major crimes in Trenton. Trenton. I think you're amazing with a jury. They must totally relate to you. We had a big meeting today. The DA might have discovered the weapon she used to bludgeon her roommate. It's a pair of pliers. That's not a murder weapon. Excuse me? Oh, this should be good. There's no growth in the nail bed, and her shellac still has first day sheen. If Miss Moore used a pair of pliers in a messy murder, she would have chipped a nail. How does she know My that? sister's a manicurist. Oh, I'm that's sorry. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Deep breaths. Uh, I, Take it easy. Who cares? Someone wants to see me. Who's he? Sounds like a tool. A senior attorney here. This could be bad. No, no. He probably just thinks that you're gorgeous and smart. Is he short? Short men love you, Martina. Donovan Stark is so grateful for your contribution to the Moore case, he's anointed you third chair on another murder case. What the hell is going on? <laughs> so, okay, so, first of all, in the first minute, she had a guy apologize to a kid. Okay, for, and then, she made a man apologize for, to a man. Yeah, or, or, I don't know. Yeah, was it was a kid, man? I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't see. He was. He was a. Uh, he looked short. Yeah. yeah, and and then she's. She she now and then she now solved a, a murder case. She solved a murder case in w- in one of those lawyer meetings they have where there's seventy lawyers. <laughs> exactly. In the room. Well, and yeah. like, was that not kind of like Aaron Brockovich or, or whatever? Where yeah. it was just like, what you you're underqualified, but like, oh, you're really smart. You're gonna right. solve this oh. like that, and all these other and, idiots don't know. And she's got and she really has the Jersey accent, and like she's got to call the family because of course well, any you know, Jersey girls the closer her you family. know that actress is British, right? I yeah, was that was say. that was my key <laughs> thing. I when I saw that, I'm like. You gotta be bullshit. And her name is Janet Montgomery. Yeah. And Janet I go, Montgomery. and she's playing a Jersey girl. I'm very happy I could play her. Po- it's, it's like, what? That's not. That, no, that is yeah. not Martina Garetti. That, that, it's so funny. Like, I was just thinking, like, The Wire. And I don't know if you've seen The Wire, Lauren, uh, or know of it or so. I know, yeah. And it's based, like, it's, you know, uh, it's, like, the, it's inner city, like a real nitty gritty kind of thing, uh, uh, crime drama in, in Baltimore, of all places, like a horrible neighborhood, basically. And it's funny, like Dominic West and I forgot the Idris Alba yep. is the other guy. Like these yeah, two Dominic guys. Dominic West is Irish and the and, other guy's English. And it's like, it's so weird because you're seeing the scenes and you always go like, wow, that's amazing. And then when you finally find it, they're like, hello. Oh, yeah. wow, I thought this, well, <laughs> they're well, in I thought every this, show. Well, well, There's <laughs> a Brit. Yeah. An, a Brit or, or maybe not just I a Brit. Somebody from the UK right. infiltrating every, every show. Every single show. Everything. And I, and I yeah. feel like this is the, the epitome. This is the epitome. Because yeah. I'm like, how many, I mean... It's weird. I mean, is Marissa Tomei in, in busy? What's the thing? There? Are there no Italian American actresses yeah. that, that can't pull Lauren off Lauren Valentine, who is, Lauren is Valentine from America. Can America. I mean, I mean yeah. you can do a Jersey from accent. This gritty I mean, streets I, of Eerie. I could I fake mean, being Italian better. Exactly. I mean, I'm kind of. I mean, oh yeah, there's my no God. Italian American actresses. No, that's I guess insane. Not. That's crazy. But they got to get a little, you know, hello. My, my name yeah. is all, and then I want to be in the show. <laughs> that's what I hear I in came a beyond all the way across the pond, you know. <laughs> well, I just like, want to be in it. Yeah, it's like, excellent. Action. Well, you know, you know I, don't even, I can't even do a Jersey accent. From, yeah, I mean, oh. it's like a... Your Honor! You know, you're like, it's like, it is. I'm from Jersey. Work with me. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you might as well do My Cousin Vinny, uh, the TV show. I mean, that's basically what it is. Instead of like Marissa Tomei, just her yeah. character or the guy yeah. character. And it's like, yeah. you know, Utes. We got Utes. <laughs> Two Utes. Like, what was that? Two Utes. What was that? You know, it's your like, Honor, I need some crumpets. Oh, oh, I'm mixing oh. up my worlds again. Oh, my God. Oh, no. That, that, that show is offensive for that reason because uh, you couldn't find an actress <laughs> who's American and Italian, and then it's also offensive because of the uh, the if you if you watch the extended clip like I did on YouTube, uh-huh. you'll see that like the sister is like the catty Italian sister, and her brothers are just the guys who just go. Oh! Well, it, the all brother the time. literally. Everything and all the things that had literally had food in his mouth the whole time. Every time he's eating a, every scene that guy's in, he's eating a sandwich, and and she's like, "I just solved the big case." And he's like, "Whoa!" Whoa. Yeah, like the whole family has to do it. Like, That's all they respond Are to. Are you every, more they, angry that you were not cast? No, I don't want to be. No, 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 no. I'm I'm angry that uh, Italians are always portrayed as like the same thing over and over. Like, totally, yeah. Like, oh, my, hey, remember because women are never I know portrayed oh, as bullying. the same thing. Oh, Italians or, are the, or, yeah. you know, nerdy men <laughs> you or go, anything girl. from that. Yeah. Like, you can do that with anything. Yeah, totally, totally. No, but I, 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 I'm, not, I'm just. I always have Sorry. to laugh because 
my experience with Italians is usually like, oh yeah, like like Mike's cousin is like an engineer, you know, right. and like like my family is all like teachers and you know business people, and then you get like then you watch TV and you flip it on and like there's an Italian guy, and yeah, he's got half a he's got half a pastrami sandwich hanging out of his mouth and he's yeah. cat calling women. And let me clarify, American Italian. Right. True Italian Italians, American. no, not at no, all. No, they look sexy and cool, right? Yeah, and yeah. stylish. And right. Cheap. They're always like race car drivers who say they don't people. live in this country. Uh, exactly. <laughs> they're awesome. I, yeah, like they're, they're awesome. they are the true Italians. We're the super, buffoons. Yeah, and I, and I, no, I, I actually want to hang out with those people. Good night, Carlos. Yeah. I, pre- I prepared some material here. So oh, this seems like the appropriate time. No, I just want to share some research I found. Oh my god. <clears throat> This is from uh, let me. See, what is this organization? Is this, cr- is this from the Order of the Sons of Italy? <laughs> Order. I, found, I did some research. The Order. Order of the Sons of Italy, a group that uh, promotes. What Italian about the Americans. daughters? Come on. Let me just say the, uh, the worst. The average the average Italian in this country, okay, is thirty four years old, not nineteen like on the Jersey Shore, and not what, whatever twenty seven. She was spunky. probably twenty three. Yeah, I like want to say she's twenty three. What's the year. average age of? Most people. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're at Jesus age. Most, I think we're at Jesus age. That's right now in the 30s. And as right you now. know, most people are 75 years old. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so now, they're really young, but not too young. Exactly. They kind of get it. Proud yeah. of their life. They know where they are. Carlos, guess what the medium income uh, for... Uh, this is Now, this is from the, uh, the late 90s, but <laughs> it's the most recent research I could find. Uh, medium <laughs> income for Italian family. Guess I what guess, it is. I, I write that in there. You, you tell me uh, Italians don't like computers. So I'm going to say they haven't updated it. Like, but let's see. What was a medium? Medium income. Uh, uh, this is for a person, for an individual per year uh-huh. in 1999. How much do you think an Italian American made? Well, let's see. They probably own the pizzerias and uh, <laughs> oh, delis. And and there's then, probably a lot of mob yeah, work. Yeah, probably some, uh, some illegal the fun mafia, money coming in from the mob. Yeah, time. Uh, let's see. Uh, honestly, I'm going to say forty thousand, sixty-one thousand three hundred dollars a year. Really? And yeah. the average was fifty thousand, so they made eleven thousand dollars more a year. It's because of that mob ties. Probably because of that mob money. Yeah, they got a little yeah. Bit, yeah. the pizzerias, exactly. quote unquote pizzerias. I'll go through the rest of this real quick. <laughs> High school graduates. Uh, we grad Italians. We graduate twenty nine percent. The rest of the country twenty eight point five. Ooh. Whoa, really? that point five really does a great <laughs> service Again, there. Yeah. It's probably mafia people making sure their kids pass. I, True, but. Probably. Uh, college graduates, 18.5. National, 15.5. Wow. wow. Graduate at a higher So basically rate you're saying Italians country. are superior. In all ways. Wait, I didn't even get to penis size yet. There's so much what? research here. <laughs> There's so much research to get, go okay. through Okay, unless you're from Sicily, I don't buy it. No. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I, I wanted to bring up that this show, and I know we're going to talk about another show, both right. portray, <laughs> you want to announce both show? <laughs> portray Italian-Americans in a very... Uh, you know, they uh, also both have strong leading female characters. Well, which I love. I, I, I do love that. But in the first show, like the, the first show, everything's so glib. In Made in Jersey, everything's like... There's like a side comment to everything. It's not serious, you know? It's, like, it's hard to believe that that's it's an that, actual it's world. It's that genre. Yeah. 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 Uh, let, me, let me play this part of the clip. I, I think it's funny because uh, this is just like her in the, the court and okay. like doing her job or something, you know? The night Michael Robinson was murdered. Objection. Your Honor, the voicemails proof Professor Treaser gave false statements to NYPD. We Your have Honor. enough evidence to warrant a re-examination of the charges. You better, Ms. Beretti. Counselors in my chambers. We've got evidence, motive, and medical opinion, Your Honor. And, Your Honor, you don't want to get Ms. Goretti talking about corrupted blood samples. We'll be here till Christmas. I do sense a high level of passion from your colleague. Please don't do a victory dance in my office, Counselor. She dropped the charges, Ellie. You're free to go. It's over. Yeah, I don't they, know they what's going on. They have a dance beat behind the whole thing. <laughs> what? What is going? What? Is, I mean, who? I would be if I was offended. I would wait, be going out of wait. my mind, going like, "What the fuck is going on?" This that scene room? takes place in a judge's chamber, and the music's like, "It's Jersey, man. They gotta, you gotta beat the beat. Beat the beat. You gotta yo. beat the beat. Yeah, yo, thing. dude, that judge chamber music is sick, yo. Oh, it's God. off the chain. What is going on? Who's who's being defended by this? I whole? don't know. And, and Kyle the guy from Twin Peaks, and yeah. numerous a lot of stuff, is like the boss, you know. I so of course it. he's like also the mayor from Portlandia. Yes, yeah. very funny Portland. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I just feel like it's uh, it's almost, I hate these like fish out of water. And I'm like she's not she's not far it's away. It's about it's about oh. the underdog is what they say yeah. in the behind the scenes. It's not inconceivable that an ed- educated Italian American woman could be a good lawyer. Like no. that's the part that's like that's crazy. What, yeah, that's what I mean. yeah. yeah, like why is that so the bizarre? The stereotypes lead you uh. into being a good lawyer of like being like very fast. <laughs> Spoken and and uh, yeah, 
It totally makes sense. It's strong-willed, fast-spoken. Yeah. Like, yeah, you would totally be a great lawyer. Oh boy! Well, and uh, they graduated a higher percentage than the rest of the country. Well, I could tell. Genius. I could tell. I could tell by her talking the way she was talking in the court in the courtroom. Exactly. I could definitely say that. Exactly. You know? But you guys, oh, you know what? Well, then I I cannot wait to introduce this fucking next next, next fucking TV clip <laughs> called Mob Doctor. <laughs> Take a listen. Oh. <laughs> Sneak a peek. Oh, God. <laughs> the first time I saw a dead body, I wasn't afraid. I just really wanted to touch him. Okay, right. Let me pause yeah, that's that. Right up. Wait, was that from Mob Doctor or that video you were watching that, before? That was the oh, okay. both. That was well, both. and without okay. like our uh, audience being able to see the clip that went with that, right. you have no idea what she wants to touch. <laughs> no, right. no, exactly. Like, I mean, she's the, the. It's a little girl, and she's touching the face. But when you the say, eyeballs. yeah, her eyeballs, and you go like. If I saw a dead body, I would be mortified. Like if I was a kid, I would be like, "Holy shit!" First is- of all, well, first of all, a dead body is always poking with a stick situation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's never, exactly. It's never a hands-on. Thank you. You find a stick and you give it a. Good it's poke. like that. You know, when you see a piece of shit, you know, when you're There's a, kid, a hierarchy or, or, or a piece of gum, whatever it you is, know not you kind of touch it. Exactly. There's a yeah, heightening. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that she actually touched the thing is right to like, the blood too. Right, it's like, I don't believe the show. I don't know. Like right then and there, I was thinking when I saw that clip, I'm like, is she Dexter? What, what's going yes. on here? Yes. Like, what's 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 the appeal? Uh huh. And this is this is Monda, this, I guess the setting in this one is not Jersey. Unfortunately, right. I wish it was, but right. it's Chicago. Oh, have you mentioned her name yet? Doctor Italia Romero Jersey. <laughs> that, no, it's that, not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, like, yeah, I, uh, I would have been like, wow, that's fucking. No, over it's the actually top. it's actually Doctor Grace Devlin. <laughs> De- Devlin. This is a great TV name. Grace yeah. Devlin. Oh boy, here we go. You got it. Oh, I love the music. Hey, you. That's a TV mark right there. Their nose. Yeah. Honey, stop moving. Oh, There's a warrant out. a guy with an ice pick in his. Yeah, just an ice pick in his head. Yeah. He's really convincing. Yeah. On three, two, one. Oh boy. Your typical doctor. And then by day. Yeah. She's a real doctor. Yeah, she's a real doctor. Have you been? I had a patient with a pounding headache. Whoa, that was witty. Uh, and she goes in the doctor like nothing. Like she's in the doctor mode or mild doctor mode. She didn't even wash her hands. She just started no. operating on somebody. <laughs> he did not see her doing the scope or whatever. Yeah. From the time that she was four, when she touched that dead body, she yeah. just stopped. She just keeps touching people. Great men are almost always bad men. You say I'm a bad man. Oh, yeah, yeah, the way that you just sounded like that. So, you recognize your new patient? Ralph Severino. He's yeah, Ralph, Ralph Severino. <laughs> I think he owned the deli. Yeah, yeah. Ralph Severino is receiving excellent... They want to make sure that he's Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they want to make sure. Against Paul Moretti. Will Paul, Paul Moretti. 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 There you go. All right. Hey, you got something. What's the occasion? That's a, kill him. That was what it said on there. I remember. You had a choice. Never to kill Grace, you to me. Why are they giving her a choice? They say, just do it or we kill you. Basically, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Basically, she's just fucked. Yeah, the whole so, movie. She's screwed. To help her brother. That's what it is. Like her brother, brother has people. debt. Yeah. You don't want to fuck up debt wise with the mom. But it's going to kill him. And then your job is done. Right, it's time to do your job. So how does that work? She drops the thing. Oh uh, yeah, and now she's like on the run. I came here to get your dumbass brother, but she answered the door. Why don't you come get her? You like feeling powerful, don't you? Oh boy. Power corrupts. Hey. And absolute power. <laughs> corrupts absolute. Very profound. You gotta, you gotta have to say that. Well, then it's a good thing we're not lawyers. But I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> we're doctors. You're well timed. Franco, now you kill his boss. Uh, you think got rid of the body? His voice is unreal. I know. William Forsythe. And he's not, he, what is he, Irish, I think, right? I don't know. He's actually Jamaican. Jamaican? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought so. He did that demo. If you ask me, choice is a moving target. Like what we choose to share and what we choose to keep secret. I'll cover you as best I can. Oh boy. That's a bad but sign. You belong to me. Mom, you, M- MD. I Mom just, doctor. Wow. MD. Mom, MD. You can't see it, but the very last shot of her is eating a big bowl of spaghetti. Well, you have trying to, to think <laughs> of what to do. <laughs> she has a pasta stain. Huge pasta stain. Yeah, and and red, checker, red checker table. Yeah. Yeah. 
It is. Uh, I'm going to call Sinatra's this, playing in the background. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call this uh, ER meets a Sopranos. Is that what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I see. My, here's the tragedy of this show: is that that show, if it was on HBO, would be awesome. Like a show about a real mob doctor played real, it played slowly, right, and not on Fox. No, <laughs> yeah. where it's just going to be turned into a cartoon. Yeah. And, you know, uh, and it's funny, and this, and this, I bet you when this episode finally airs, I, I think the show, this show will probably be already on. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, I, and I don't yeah. even care, because it's right. almost like, I almost feel like it's not going to even make it, in a sense. Like, it's going to be like maybe, I'm going to say, I'm going to give it like f- maybe three episodes in, and then, and then it's going to just. Might go away. Well, I just wonder how long they can really extend that. Like, it feels like that should be that, like, a film, because. Yeah, like, you already seen the The, the trailer whole, is right. just like any film you've seen where you're like, oh, I've already seen the movie. Right. Like, I've. Feel like I've seen the TV show. I don't like really what need... more can happen? I mean, what more? I mean, I don't know. Like, dun, I mean, dun, dun, dun. yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe not. I, I will. Know. I'll give the show credit that it didn't. It wasn't as cheesy as Made in Jersey. Right. Like, there was mm. there was nobody who was you know she wasn't like. Uh, I, th- my prescription for him is getting yeah. whacked. Well, yeah, or something stupid where you're just like, like CSI, oh, like Miami, yeah, or some yeah. bullshit. Like I'm like, okay, good. It was because at least they th- tried to play it r- the, a little bit real. The thing is, I, I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I guess it, maybe it does happen because I don't know how prevalent like the mob is now to what you know. Because every time when I see the think of the mob, I always think it's like you know everything like Goodfellas, you know, like the 40s, yeah. 50s, 60s, 70s, right? maybe 80s. But after a while, I'm like, I don't I don't know. Does it really, is it around? Like, they're really being out there, out, you know, oh. outspoken. Like after John Gotti got nailed, I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't see any big heavyweights coming out and going like, well, oh, they're that's doing the- their job. They're, they're keeping it on the <laughs> I rats, guess so. Right? They're with some of the best mob ever. If you've, I, never, you've never heard of them. Right, I guess so. Yeah. I guess that's the only way. And I always figured like the only thing I've seen were anybody who's head of an organization, a criminal organization, and the doctor was involved or like those, uh, one ever seeing an article or, or like a news story about a drug, a drug kingpin what, uh, was on the run and had to get plastic surgery got plastic surgery done and then the plastic surgeon uh i, I think it was so underground or so like mm-hmm. that i think he, he actually the drug lord ended up dying in the on um, the operating or whatever Ugh. the surgery because it was like i don't know how, what they were doing but the I'm guy's like, real job was yeah. veterinarian <laughs> yeah, or something I think it was yeah. i don't know i'm like how is it i mean if you're that rich at least get a fucking main guy or yeah. something yeah. but it actually it's i'm like how sad is that that you're a drug lord or uncool, really. Well, uh, you know, and getting killed by, uh, getting uh, dying on the operating on the on the plastic surgery again. Like with this show too, it's like, well, yeah, you, you know what? Let's rip from the headlines of eighty years ago. Yeah, the mob. And I'm, I'm thinking like I would be like if it was a plastic surgery and trying to like you know have to hide people's faces. Like, okay, maybe you got that's something that's interesting. There. Yeah, but now the fact that it's like it's like any goon is like we. He's part of our crew. You got to help him. Right. Well, and Every like, week. How yeah. do you filter them through the hospital? And then how do you kill that many people as a doctor at that hospital and nobody <laughs> and cans no. you? <laughs> it's like, is that, I know. It's like, like, how does that are work? Are you the angel of death? It's like, it's kind of. Every time yeah. a prosecutor gets wind, she kills him in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, oh, you're coming right. down with something. <laughs> Gosh. You're good. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, that, that show. That I don't know what's going to happen with that Dr. Grace Devlin. Yeah. Man, I, she's got some I'm trouble. I'm curious to find out. <laughs> she's got some trouble. And I'm like, I'm like, I mean, why don't you, I would be like, go fuck up my brother. Just beat him up. How about that? Seriously? Yeah. Like motherfucker. Yeah. Like I don't want yeah. to be involved. I mean, and yeah. it's like, I mean, if you're going to be, but there's like, no out. No, nah, no. Nah, when you deal with the mob, I mean, Joe should know, right? Your uncle was your uncle. Of, of, of <laughs> no, nobody in my family was no, in the mob. No. Donatelli, come no, on. Nobody in my come family was in the mob. Come but on. But you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know from that show that both Severino and Moretti Probably there was a seven percent chance they would get a master's degree, as opposed to six percent for the rest of the country. Oh wait, well, See, no, and the you sons. Would, you wouldn't know. I think that guy um, already so might be in the sons of uh, or, uh, the order of the sons of Italy. It seems one. the I think statistics so. are like just slightly above. Yeah, what it's, you, <laughs> Italians yeah. are slightly better than everybody else. God. I'll take it. I'll take it. Too. I'll take it. Uh, well, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I I I do love it when the TV season comes in in the fall because there's always a lot of cool shows. There's a lot of like there's one called The Arrow, which is like the Green Arrow take. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like Smallville trying to do what you know mm-hmm. CW is trying to do with what they did with Superman Smallville. Same thing where they're doing Green Arrow and called The Arrow or 
there's another one called The Last Resort where Michael Bay is doing it, which is like uh, it's about a resort set in down in Caribbean. Yeah, and it's, and no, it's the last it's the resort. Last one. <laughs> it's the last one. <laughs> really awesome. And it's Michael Bay. He just blows it up. Yeah, he just, he just explodes. No, it's it like everywhere. it's like a submarine or so, like a, the captain of a submarine is ordered to bomb Pakistan and he does it, oh. and he and he and he has to create his own like. Like you know, has society. that movie been made? I think it has, but it's a social society. Wait, what? Know. Well, that sounds crazy, right? But uh, I mean, but now, but uh, when I was doing a little bit of research, because I was mm-hmm. kind of like looking at like TV pilots and like the worst ones, and oh my gosh, I mean, I, I, let me name a few. I have to probably do another show. You should do another show with this. This show's fun because a part of it is just looking at all this crappy stuff that's coming down the pipe. I, I mean. There's a there's so many of them like the the one I'm I'm thinking of, I'm just so when I saw I probably uh, just check it out just go on YouTube and the name of the show this was done in the 90s or late 80s 90s and starred Peter Boyle and it was called Puchinski okay <laughs> great okay. name great, great name. name wasn't that the name of one of our improv groups no no, <laughs> no I wish it was if I would have known I would have definitely done it's not it. like we were Puchinski for a year yeah I no? you know, okay. if we would have had mustaches I think we maybe might have, yeah. all right. But this one, this show, okay, I'll give you the the the, the plot was that it was a, a Peter Boyle plays a, a detective, New York detective, and he gets killed in a hit and run accident and comes back to life as a bulldog. <laughs> what? <laughs> and helps his partner. So it's almost like he's so like, like Turner. And Eric. It is basically yeah. like he is, he turns into the dog, like it's, it becomes like a part. So it's like almost like a partner yeah. in in crime. Yeah. But you have a bulldog. As a thing, it's like Turner and Hooch meets yeah. Ghost. Yeah, it is basically that. Yeah. And and that they so made, during that time, maybe. Yeah, that was. Insane. I mean, they when did that come out? Right, it came out. I th- I don't know. It had it been like the late? It, it didn't even come out. No, that's that's the thing. It didn't come out. They the ABC it was that made <laughs> they made a pilot, put money into this, and decided last minute they said. No, I don't think this show will take. And they didn't hide it better. How'd you find this? News oh, out? That was, it is out there. There's a shit. Yeah, some load of these of pilots surface. No, there. I, I I I could show you just millions of them. Like there was one called the D- 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 Excuse me, Daytona Beach, which was like it was like Baywatch, but for the NASCAR era. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like it was an NASCAR that drivers. Would have a huge demographic. And yeah. NASCAR's drivers, I think, were involved. In I don't know if all of them were yeah. or whatever it was, but like people, actors, of course, playing the drivers and and getting involved in like crime or whatever. What like it was basically their Baywatch, I guess. Oh, that'd be so good. I watched that show. Yeah, like I mean, there's one uh, Daytona what, Beach, be, and there's, there's another one. This is an, a crazy. Where uh, what's his name? Um, Dennis Franz, right? Yeah, we know, from we all know NYPD from Blue. NYPD Blue. Prior before I NYPD Blue, and he's got uh, he's got to thank that show. He did another show with it was NYPD, but it was like it was called NYPD Mounted, oh. where he's <laughs> a, a horse? horse cop. He's <laughs> yes! a horse cop. <laughs> okay. A cop on a horse. I can't even picture solving it. Solving crimes on this show. Okay, this should tell you. If and you know think- what? They didn't air the pilot. The following year, he was given NYPD, NYPD Blue. So this should and tell so you. He, uh, when life doesn't go your way, because I'm sure when NYPD mounted didn't work out, he right. was all bummed. Like, yeah. like, oh man, I got to eat. I'm an actor. Like, I got to make right. things happen. He was probably totally bummed. Did not know that he was a year away from being on... Before the wire, what was the probably the best cop oh, show of all time? I, uh, you know, it, it happens. I guess it does. I it mean, does. There, you can't, a, you don't know. There's another one where, like, how higher ground with John Denver as a tough cop. I remember that one. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, this is the guy who sat on a mountain and ate granola during the exactly. 1970s. I mean, there's several. I could just mention. I mean, there's so many of them that I'm like, oh, you know. And, and the thing is, looking back when I go, I'm like, actually, I would see these shows. You know, you I know, would, I would love to see these shows. Can I pitch you now. an idea? Can I pitch you an sure. idea? All right, so you scrap this podcast. <laughs> Stop doing it. Uh-huh. And instead of instead of how did the uh, wh- instead of instead of uh, uh-huh. how did this get made, uh-huh. you do why didn't this get made? Yeah, oh, I, I could do another. I don't care. Yeah. I could do a whole segment. So, because, Mike, uh, you got to come up with a whole new show yeah, for Carlos. Do, start all over. Start, so, erase these five episodes of yeah. No Offense, Lauren. You should hey, do. It's, I th- it's cool. I you should lady. do an occasional episode where you do like why uh, did this oh, get I would made? love to. I would love it's to. Right up your real. You you are fascinated by this. I, I just I love. And it's not even like epic fail because sometimes there is cool pilots that never aired, and you're like, "Oh, that's a sucks." Mm-hmm. That, that was such a cool concept, or whatever. And then there's some that it's like, there was one, there was one that I found what was called high. It was like, uh, what was it? Oh, our uh, high, high, I'm home, which was like a British show uh-huh. where it was. A, I don't know what channel in Great Britain it was from, but what it was, it was like Adolf Hitler and Ava Braun 
were like Isle of Lucy oh, like, high, and, high, and it was like Isle of Lucy like it was Isle of Lucy type like sitcom wow. and their neighbors were these Jewish neighbors right and it's like holy wow. mackerel <laughs> like so That's, okay yeah. can, you, can I if you do that uh-huh. the whole thing uh, uh-huh. can you like have a voting process and oh, then yeah. like you try to remake that show. That's a great oh, idea. Yeah. Like, like try to build up a groundswell of support to redo it. That's yeah. a great idea. I, I, you know what? I, I yeah, I should. I want to try to get in contact with Dennis Franz and see <laughs> if, <laughs> if see if he could take over Peter Boro, which might be hard to do, uh-huh. and see if he could do Pachinski and maybe ride a horse on that uh, one. Because I, like I, I am go. interested. Did I am you, interested. Did you guys ever have a show that was on for like two episodes that you just were like? distraught that it was over like you're just like ah. um not, really. not two episodes but just it was cut short in the prime of his yeah. life and you were like mine was greatest american hero which is a show during the 80s yeah, that i sure. loved and they did like one season and like this is before even like everybody had a vcr and you couldn't record anything it was just when it was gone it was gone i was, I was gone. pretty upset by it alf. was just gone well alf had a alf was on right. for like nine seasons though. yeah but it, it didn't end right well i that, that's a whole other thing didn't you yeah. go back how well, did it end? No, it, it, it ended where uh, Alf got found out and he got taken off, but they thought they were going to have another season, but then they cut the show, so it, it had no so end. So he just... Yeah. He just gets and arrested. There, and that's a whole that's other, so depressing. And that's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably, I didn't even know that. Right, he's sitting in a holding cell right now somewhere. Uh, oh. he's, still, he's, still, <laughs> <laughs> he still has his Hawaiian he's shirt. He's still a guy doing yeah, Hawaiian yeah, shirt. You're cracking the jokes. The guys love him. Shyster you know, lawyer yeah. representing him. He's yeah. screwed. Oh, man. Poor Alf. Well, I don't know, guys. Uh, I mean, yeah, Married with Children was another one that never got a f- right. Oh, there's a lot one. of shows. Oh, yeah, that's a whole another. That's a whole episode, episode, episode right Carlos. there. These are all good. These are all TV, perfect topics. For TV you. is 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 a gold mine of just like mishaps and just blunders or yeah. something. Yeah. And, and you know what? And I can't even mention this. The fucking uh, the reality shows. Who's your daddy? Mm-hmm. Where I'll tell you this much: where a girl, uh, she there was a woman that she was adopted. She had to go in a room with 25 guys and she had to figure out who her dad was. Just by questions? Just by question. And if she got it right, she would win like $250,000. <laughs> she won the love of her father. Yeah. yeah. And if she lost, he got to walk out of the room without ever having to talk <laughs> Exactly. To her I guess. I, that, was a true, that was a true uh, oh, show. Brutal. Fox. That's... Well, guys, let's end it there. On that happy note. <laughs> wow. On that happy well, note. Well, uh, uh, Joe, uh, tell yes. us, uh, let's see, because you have a lot of uh, future endeavor right now. A lot of big time. Uh, yeah. Uh, new moving, moving. Moving. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll be uh, I'll be in Ohio this fall. I'm going to be teaching a class what, at, what? At, at Ohio University at mm-hmm. the Ohio University, <laughs> the as we Ohio. mockingly Do you put call the it. The? No, no. Yeah, I, we I, own that. The. You guys own the the the, the and it always and a whole nation cackles during Monday Night Football when the the players introduce themselves like, "Hey, I'm Corey Stringer from the Ohio State University." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And We're not the only like, ones oh. now. I think other people some... are doing it now too. Yeah. yeah. Other people are doing it now too. In fact, know. some of the guys who didn't go to uh, college at all are now are like I am uh, you know I'm Bob Smith from the uh, Highland High School you know and it's like ah <laughs> gotcha like, it's like what happened to you yeah people are like make fun of Ohio State <laughs> well you don't want to say Penn State I think really anymore. Uh, yeah wow. I don't know. No, that's a whole other thing yeah. why do you bring up such depressing <laughs> yeah, just, that's the a first, whole other show right the there. first episode you brought up Trayvon Martin and now you're bringing up uh, Penn State <laughs> yeah, like, man, it just, just happened to be your, man just your just brain to be. just goes to like I, no, the saddest place nah life is sad anyway so yeah again you say this with a smile it is that should be your podcast life is sad Oh, you know what? I had a request. Uh, My wife wanted to know, why is the show called Come to Your Senses? Um, I think it's just like in the fact that I think when we talk about the failure. So we're talking about... Because, you know, when you see these shows or you see a movie and you're just going like, like, you kind of goof on it. What are they thinking? So like, like, what what are are they basically? Yeah, these people who made these shows, come to your senses. Okay, Or just like a news story. You're going like, like that kid, poor kid going there. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. It's like shit like that. All right. I'm on board with that. So yes, that's my... Future uh, and you're on uh, the humor. Yeah, oh. so in my website, if you like to read uh, written humor, you like uh, you know uh, reading funny stuff. Thehumorcolumnist.com is my website. It's www.thehumorcolumnist.com, and I post uh, my own writing. I post um, other people's writings that I think are funny. I just brought on board my first writer, so we're going to oh, be posting wow. her writing. So yeah, we're nice. we're growing, we're on, we're making yeah. it happen. Nice so I'm pretty excited. So yeah, uh, so it's thanks. Uh, yeah. Ohio University. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's that Ohio University education. Nice. It's paying off. <laughs> it's paying you're off. Gonna, big you're going to be the be- next big name. I will be. I could be. I could be the Richard Dean Anderson of journalism. Sure. Oh go. my god! We'll it could happen. So. Oh, we, there's so many more good. Gary Trent. <laughs> 
<laughs> the NBA NBA bench player Gary uh, Trent. All right, we got Hunter it. Dave Zastadil from the NFL. That's Ohio. You got. <laughs> now you you got you're making pride. me sad. You got now you're making pride. me yeah. sad with those. Guys. I know she's got she's got Jesse Owens and yeah. like these amazing yeah, important people. Yeah, like Hall of Fame football players and you know whatever. I've got Gary Trent. Oh, there you go, <laughs> Lauren. W- w- where can we find you? Oh well, I'm uh, performing a lot with my group, uh, All Women. That's what she said that, is the name of the group. That's the whole name. That's what she said. Oh, that's what she yeah. said. No, not all. I women. thought it was called All Women Colon. <laughs> that's what she said. Mm, if she was a lesbian, she might say that. <laughs> okay, no, I don't know. Nice. So I don't know how that. You're in an All Women group called. That would be interesting. Yeah. That I would. Yeah, I would definitely. All women on. groups can be brilliant, or sometimes they don't work. Like I've seen it. That's true. Happen. Probably every improv group. Though, right? good <laughs> uh, yeah, you might want to stop right there. Sorry for yeah. Thank you for helping me not I'll categorize pull out my all fact women. Fact sheets here. My, yeah. my stats, women. Uh, you might want to get the um, order of daughters of improv. First of all, half of all people are women. <laughs> are women. I'll have, I'll have more than that. more uh, than half, half of all now. people are women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah, it's a, I've seen a, it's a great group. Um, I saw you uh, actually a few weeks ago. It was great. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, we're just wrapping up a residency at a uh, show uh, TNT. Tuesday, yeah, yeah, Tuesday Night Thunder. Oh yeah, that's uh, a good which show. is a big one of the biggies. Uh, one in, of the in big the independent shows in yeah. LA. And yeah. uh, we got a double whammy this weekend, which by the time this comes out won't matter. But maybe that weekend we will. Oh, maybe. So look us up. On Facebook, that's what she said. Uh, Improv. There we go. And you don't have like a Twitter or anything. I I, uh, I don't have a Twitter. I yeah. Need to get what? Twitter. Well, I know. Uh, you should gotta get on. How, you have a website though. What's your LinkedIn? Um, I, my. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, I, Help I the people own, at home find you. You never know. Uh, I have my own personal website, which you would be able to then find anything. Oh, else. there you go. It's um. The Lauren Valentine. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? I'm not even kidding. Oh. It had to be. There are already other Lauren hang Valentines. Hang on, Sloopy. Sloopy, hang on. What? Oh, H. Uh, wow. I. Oh, yeah. well, she didn't say Lauren Woody. She didn't say Valentine. Woody. Uh, Lauren Woody. Lauren uh, Woody. Uh, yeah, Lauren. No, she didn't Lauren that. Woody Hayes Valentine. <laughs> no. Yeah, I no. bleed scarlet so, and gray. Yes. So, so backslash. The Lord Valentine. I wow. love that. You know Ann what? Arbor's a whore. Backslash. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Cooper. You got forward slash. The forward slash, slash the flaming kid. couch. <laughs> oh boy. Dot com. Dot com. I, w- I would love it so much if there was like Monday Night Football. There was like a professional football player going like this is <laughs> Dean Jackson from the Lauren Valentine Yeah, that'd be <laughs> it's awesome. Like, it's like wow, that, that's a new. Cool. You'd be getting all kinds of traffic <laughs> yeah, from, from football <laughs> player from football <laughs> fan. <laughs> Confused football fans. Like, think, why am I on here? You know what? I think because um, I had a, my past uh, guest, um, I had a play by playmate, and I and she was mentioning that uh, she gets like letters and or fan mail from like prison. I'm like, I think that's a good bar. If you get fan mail from prison, captive audience. Yeah, you're, you're you're in a whole league. Like you're in a big league right there. I say that's true. I can yeah. Know. Yeah, because these guys don't have all the. I mean, they kind of do. I well, think they can. They yeah, can call right to anybody. So yeah, I mean, and they yeah. think they have Facebook, probably. Yeah, prison Facebook. All right, well, something so, to look into. Pr- oh, oh. Maybe that's a good angle for a new show. Maybe prison. <laughs> Did you say prison Facebook? Yeah, like a special Facebook for people who are in prison. Yeah, <laughs> they hey, so just stay connected. Hey, There's heard a- you got moved down to penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> like on this How one. Could, no, yeah, the guy tried to fucking shake my ass. This guy's course. always posting food, like posting photos of his gruel. Oh, oh he's so sick of it. We get it, man. We get it. We get it. You have oh, awesome gruel. We get ooh, it, man. Oh. Look at my abs. Check out my. I tagged you on my abs. Dude. <laughs> I tagged you on my ass. Today I acquired a bitch. Yeah, yeah. where we oh, go? Someone's in a relationship. relationship. There you go. <laughs> Not bad. Prison so, the Lauren Valentine.com. Yeah. And okay. Well, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks here for doing another show. All right. Carl. And, and, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and check us out um, um, on iTunes uh, now and Comedy Podcast Network. So if you want to leave a comment, you know, it helps us out, please. And you can follow me on Twitter at ComeToYourSenses.com. And yeah. All right. And you have a good one, everybody. Uh, thank you. And come to your senses. Receive this transmission from the Comedy Podcast Network. For more shows, visit comedypodcastnetwork.com.